Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be drawing a bow using color pencils, and for this, I'll be using Scholar uh, Sketchbook. So these are the drawings which I've made so far in this book. I have used only color pencils for this book. I am using Bristro Artist Watercolor Pencils. It is a set of 72. It is Artist Watercolor Pencil. And it is a very high quality pigmented artist watercolor pencil as it is a set of 72 colors i have a wide range of colors for using uh, for my shading to begin with i have made a sketch of a bow uh, with my regular pencil so I'll be erasing all the dark points so that I'll be able to see only the uh, light sketch of the bow. I'm making swatches of all the shades of pencils I'm using. So if some uh, color is not matching then I'm going to eliminate that. I'm applying all the light tones first using a red color. For this uh, shade I am not pressing too much, uh, I am using a black color pencil on the top of red color. I am not applying a lot of pressure on the red part using the black, I am just mildly shading it with black color. As I already have the black points and the red points marked using my pencil, it is easier for me to uh, divide my sketching for the shadows and highlights. I always keep my pencils sharp and uh, I don't use blunt, blunt pencils for the corners. I use blunt pencils only for soft shading which doesn't require too much of pressure and too much of pigment. Whenever I apply the black part, the shadow part, I do it on red color. I don't directly use the black on the page. I apply red color first and then I apply the black color later on that. Depending, depending on the intensity of the color, I apply the pressure of my pencil. In between I erase my red part for the glow, for the lightness uh, using an eraser. I also keep my eraser very sharp, I cut it with a, a razor blade. So I also erase for the highlights uh, using an eraser. Sometimes I also use white pencil. Here I am using Apsara eraser and Apsara white pencil which is used for glass marking. It is very helpful in uh, white color and light color shading. I always mark the outline of the shapes first and then fill it in. You can also use your regular pencil for black color shading that is lead pencil the regular shading pencil but here I am using a black color color pencil I always use a circular motion and very less
less pressure initially to build up the color later on you can increase the pigment uh, using uh, horizontal strokes but I always use circular motion to fill up any kind of shape because it appears uniform and it doesn't leave any kind of harsh strokes I make circular and a very soft filling I slowly build up the color you can always go ahead and build up the color but reducing a very harsh color it's really difficult sometimes black color when you erase it it's it doesn't go away so easily the deeper and darker shadow parts I'm going to apply more pressure on the paper from the pencil here I'm blending both the colors using only pencils and not using any other tools if you think your black part is uh, more darker than you expect you can always erase it with little can erase it and you can apply the red part on it so that it appears to be a maroon shade starting a shape with the outline is uh, a very good idea because you can always go ahead and fill up comfortably within the outline You can also use a yellow or orange color for the highlights but here I have not used. I have used only two color pencils and for highlights I have used white pencil. Always remember to sharpen your pencil in between the sketches because you don't want a blunt point so that it doesn't uh, give you the desired result. Also, it may lead to a breakage of the lead. I'll also be doing a review video of Brustro watercolor pencils. So, stay tuned for that. You can also try this with watercolor or acrylic paint for a more realistic effect, more realistic uh, finish. I always use a very small sketchbook instead of a very big sketchbook uh, like A4 or A5 because it is easy to handle and easy to uh, make a sketch and drawing because as the size of your sketch is smaller you can easily finish off very soon and uh, movement of your hand will be restricted to a small area and it will be more quick and easy to finish you can also try this sketching using a normal local store very ordinary pencils this is very high quality pencil but you also can try it using normal ordinary pencils some of the pe pencils that are available in India are uh, paper castle doms these are very good affordable pencil which are very good quality and it has the same amount of pigment compared to uh, the high-end product like Brustro, Arteza and all that I 
I'll be discussing about the price quality availability of Brustro pencils in my next video. You will have to toggle in between pencils, erasers and shading uh, highlight sh highlighters uh, while you are sketching. I use black, uh, red erasers and highlighters alternatively. I don't stick to one, I don't finish one color at once and move on to the next color. You will have to do it simultaneously. That's I think the best way to finish one part. I also like to divide my sketching into different parts. I finish one part and move on to the next one. When I outline my darker spots with the darker pencil, it's always easier to uh, shade them because you don't miss out on the actual outlines. I find, I find using watercolor pencils uh, very easy and it has less hazards and mess compared to paint because all you have to do is just collect some colors which are relevant to your sketching and keep it aside. You don't require a lot of materials like brushes, paint, water etc. I'm slowly building up the black color as you can see here so the darker points will be done after the lighter points Before applying the white pencil highlighter, I like to erase my red points because uh, it looks more uh, whiter compared to non-erased parts. This is the white pencil I am using right now. Now I am using a grey color pencil, a very light grey for the shadow under the bow. I am going to slowly build up the shadow first using a white, uh, light grey and then I will be using a darker grey and then I will be moving on to black color. You can also use your normal lead pencil, the sketching pencil for this but here I am using all the shades of grey and black. Here I am blending the grey points from dark to grey. Gradually I am increasing the gradient. I don't usually uh, start with dark colors. I also make it sure that I don't leave any harsh or sharp lines when I am uh, moving towards lighter point to the darker point in the gradient I am softly buffing the color I move from one end to the other end the shadow near the bow immediately after the bow is very dark as you move away from the shadow, uh, from the bow, the shadow is slightly light. Now I am covering the background with the grey pencil. I am moving my pencil in one direction, either horizontal 
और वर्टिकल आई एम नॉट अप्लाइंग टू मच ऑफ प्रेशर फॉर दिस बिकॉज आई नीड अ वेरी वार्म एंड लाइट शेड For this, I like to keep my uh, lead very blunt because the sharp points does not give you a very uh, smooth finish. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned some sketching techniques. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.